Hello everybody, Dave here at Online Motorsports, Plainfield, Illinois. I'm here to give you a little brief video walk around of our 1970 Olds 442W 34 speed convertible. Uh, obviously, uh, this one is presented in the ebony black, black interior, along with a black convertible top. Now, this car is featured on Bring a Trailer, as you most people uh, are aware of. And that auction ends sometime Friday afternoon, which would be tomorrow. I figured I'd just give you a little walk around and give you a little bit better look at the car versus just looking at uh, digital photographs. Um, the car's a three-owner car, and uh, it's actually an uncirculated car. We know the complete history of the car, which is posted in the, uh, in the gallery, so everybody get a chance to read that. But it's, uh, it's really a nicely, nicely equipped car. Uh, did get one complete repaint. Um, the engine and trans have been both rebuilt. There should be receipts uh, there listed on the, uh, on the listing. A um, couple other little changes that were made during restoration was the all aluminum W27 rear end, which there's photos of. Um, other little items that were done during restoration other than the rebuild of the engine, transmission, obviously the rear end change. Uh, did receive a new convertible top, rams and pump, and all new fluids on there. Now inside the car we've got their strato buckets obviously, center console. Uh, we've got features like night vision, full gauges, obviously speedometer shown about 94,800 miles which are uh, believed to be actual. And uh, we do have the old TikTok clock there. Down over here, you've got your wipers and power top buttons. Uh, as far as sound goes, it's got the uh, standard AM radio with the factory eight track player. Uh, as far as the interior is concerned, it's actually all original. We did add some aftermarket mats that I know some people aren't happy about, but I could not find reproduction rubber mats, which, uh, are probably more correct but uh, the next owner can decide what he wants to do with that but as far as back seats I mean all the seat belts are original all the vinyl on this car door cards everything is original if you look at uh, the greening and the dash it's still got all a very good color um, inside here we also have the uh, remote trunk release which I believe was an option back in the day. And uh, back here we've basically we got a very clean trunk on this car. It comes complete with its original spare, all the jacking tools. Now as far as bumpers go, those were re -chromed. These are the original bumpers on the car. It's got the correct trumpet horn dual exhaust on it. If you look at the body, I'll try to give you you would probably see a little reflections here, but I mean the body is just laser straight on this car. The uh, complete paint job. There's the receipts there, uh, totaling about fifteen thousand just for the paint and body. So, but uh, they really did a super job, especially considering it's a black car. They, they tend to show a lot of a lot of deficiencies in, in prep work and that type of thing. This car doesn't really show any of that. It's a super, super nice paint job. Um, let me give you a little peek under the hood here. I'll give, give you a little bit of the front end. And the bumpers line up very nice, and there's no dings, there's no, there's no pitting, which sometimes you'll see on older chrome. And then we've got our W25 hood. This is the original hood of the car. This is not a aftermarket application. And under the hood, there we go, the Holy Grail. It's uh, 455 uh, W30 F heads, correct carburetor, even though a few people say it's not, I guarantee you it is. Um, this has standard front disc brakes. The you know, W30 was not available with power brakes, although you could get power steering, which makes driving these, these bigger cars a little bit better. Uh, about three months ago, this battery was replaced. This isn't. This is not a fake tire top. This is the actual 
uh, Delco, what we used to call them tar tops back in the day. And of course we've got our red fender liners, correct air cleaners. I know there's a few items that may not be original to the car, like the, alter, or the alternator. But all in all, you've got the aluminum intake. It, it is all there, so. And also if you look, we have a breakdown of some of the numbers, pictures of the cow tags. Um, and we've got very nice dashboard here. So, uh, you guys take a peek at this, look it over. Um, if you got any other questions on the car, you can uh, ask through the gallery or you can do like a lot of people. I've never had so many uh, people click the contact the seller button, which is sort of, I mean, it's got to be a record number. I usually get one or two uh, uh, private messages, but uh, this thing has drawn quite a bit of attention and uh, I think your serious bidders are, they're going right through the uh, contact seller. So. But either way, whatever's easier for you. I'll be with the car uh, most of today to the afternoon and then obviously back here tomorrow morning uh, in case anybody needs any last minute photos, any last minute questions. And uh, give me a few minutes. I'm gonna do a cold start on this thing for you in, in the next video.